If you'd recommend any Kirby game to someone looking to get into Kirby, what would it be? All I've played before is Nightmare in Dreamland on the GBA. All right. All right. Headphones off. We're going to do this once and for all. And I'm going to make sure this counts because, quite frankly, uh, you know, this is something that comes in a lot. It's a very relevant question. A lot of people do want to know, where do I start? When it comes to Kirby, it seems like a really fun game. It seems like a really cool series to get into. So, where do we go, right? The answer is very simple. And the answer is, if you look on Google and you do a simple search for the Kirby Starter's Guide, and then you go to image search, the first image you see in the Kirby Series Starter Guide is this one. I'm going to try to pull this up on stream for you guys here. And, and this is, you know, like, this is, this is so I can really, like, break this down in detail. Because I've tweeted this out a couple times to people. Uh, in response to, you know, direct questions. Um, I want to do this on video. Hopefully it'll travel a little bit further. It'll definitely come back up again, but I'm hoping by doing it this way, this will address as many people as possible. But this photo right here is necessary because this is the answers as far as where to start goes, right? The Kirby flowchart. Let's take a minute while we're on break, to check out the Kirby flowchart. Really important stuff. Always start with Kirby Superstar Ultra. This is a must. This is not debatable. This is not a question. This is where you start. A lot of series will have moments where they'll say, hey, where do I start? And there'll be debate on that or... There'll be some sort of, you know, oh, uh, I don't know. Some people will say, like, oh, the, the original, the first game. No, there is no debate. You always start with Kirby Superstar Ultra. If you don't have a DS, go fucking get one. <laughs> if, you don't have a, you know, if you don't have the means, go get it. Play this game. If you've never played a Kirby game before and you want to know what's going on. And the reason why is because, one, this is the best Kirby game. And... This is the Kirby game that introduces everything that you're going to see in all the other games, right? And it establishes what the franchise does. It establishes uh, what it's best at. And if you like certain things more than others, you can actually follow in that direction to see if your tastes are more leaning towards one style of Kirby game than another. But Kirby Superstar Ultra... Which is the re it's a remake of the Super Nintendo game, Kirby Superstar, right? That's the place to start. It answers all your questions immediately, I promise you. It gives you a touch of uh, the, the stuff with Meta Knight. It gives you a touch of DDD. It gives you, it gives you marks. It gives you, uh, like, a, a Galacta Knight. It, it just touches on a lot of the things that, that become more important later on. And there's just no question that's where you start. That's, that's the answer to the question every single time. Great. Now, Kirby 101, class is in session. Punch Daddy's here to tell you about Kirby. As you can see, this flowchart's fantastic. It really is. I have, no, I have zero complaints about it, uh, except for the fact that perhaps it will, it will be out of date eventually. If you're like, I loved experimenting with the copy abilities, right? Follow this line over here. You play the Kirby 64 and 64 game, the Crystal Shards. Why? Because in the Christie in 64, you can combine copy abilities and you can literally take two enemies, swallow them together, and create a new third copy ability. So that takes every enemy type in the game and you multiply those powers by each other to create a grid of possible powers that are better than just having one. Uh, this includes doubling up the same power onto itself, by the way. So if you just like the copy ability, you fucking you can go there next. You know, that leads you further down the line to return to Dreamland, which has more fun stuff like that, and you can just keep going into into triple deluxe, into 
Robobot, because this is all basically continuing a, a timeline that gets connected, right? Uh, yeah, now give me more, right? Now give me a mecha, Robobot. Like, you just go down that line, and it brings you there. If you're like, um, I love Dynablade or Revenge of the Meta Knight, then you can follow that over into Squeak Squad, right? And that's a whole, again, a, a different style of game that is more about, like, the treasure aspect of things and, and the, um, it kind of, it introduces the roach, the rat, the, the fucking, the sick-ass rat dude that we're seeing here, and it goes more in that direction. Uh, once you, if you decide, I want a more relaxed experience, if you're like, I, I didn't, I want it to be even more, like, calm and, like, spring breeze, which is the first uh, thing that you get out of Kirby Superstar Ultra, uh, then you can go back to Kirby's Dreamland 3. You get a very crayon colored peaceful experience out of the whole thing it's a really fun time um and if you, if you want it even more chill because termy kirby's dreamland 3 still goes goes places with lore then you go down to epic yarn where it's nothing but a it's just a cozy ass good time um if you want more of dreamland 3 you can go you got dreamland 2 you can go back if you want to if you want to see what the original nes game was like but all of that comes off of going through this direction where you're like, I want to I wanna just have a relaxed experience. Uh, if you want to just platform and see what the platforming aspects of Kirby are like, then you can go into the Dreamland game on Game Boy and then work your way through it going the other way. Of course, there's no copy abilities when you go back to Kirby's Dreamland because it's old as fuck. But if that's what you're feeling, if that's the part of the game that you enjoy the most, then that's the direction you should go in. Uh, the Gate Crave blah, the Great Cave Offensive was awesome. If so, then you go in the direction of the Amazing Mirror. Um, Gourmet Race was awesome. That's you're racing against DDD. You like that? You want more racing? Kirby Air Ride. It's there for you. Sure, it's a spinoff, but fuck it. It's it's good. It's, it's a good ass game, and it's one of I think it's one of Liam's favorite games of all time. So, for good reason. Uh, I, if you play through Kirby Superstar Ultra and you completely didn't enjoy that and you're like, I didn't like that at all, I want a completely different type of game, then yeah, Canvas Curse and Mass Attack are Kirby in name, but gameplay is completely different and you get a different experience out of them. And you might enjoy that instead if you, if you kind of like the Kirby aesthetic but not the gameplay, even though Kirby Superstar Ultra gives you like fucking 15 different styles of gameplay. Uh, I find it hard to believe someone would come out of it going, I hate Kirby, but it's possible, and if so, try those out. If you like Canvas Curse, then head over to Rainbow Curse afterwards on the Wii U, which came out after the fact, and continues that same thing with the Wii U uh, tablet. But, you know, then, there, then in the corner, there's a little, there's a little section here for spinoffs, and uh, it gives you little bits of information about what you can do, and, what you, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of what it breaks down into. But the answer to where do I start with Kirby is very simple. Always start with Kirby Superstar Ultra. And more importantly, the answer to where do I start with Kirby is in the Google search, Kirby Guide. First image result, everything you need to know. Right there, look for this picture. Keep it, right click, save as, and get the fuck in. That should be everything you need to know. Got it? Class dismissed. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.